All right. Welcome back to uh, World Lit. This is remote day one or in class day one. This video will serve both, but is especially geared for those of you who are remote because you are not seeing me face to face. Um, this is the day that we're actually beginning the writing of our Antigone paper. And we looked at last week the elements of a Sophoclean hero, what's sometimes called the tragic hero, but we do use Sophoclean because there are certain elements that he had in his heroes that maybe in other tragic heroes we don't have. And you took notes in this, in theory. And if you didn't, I did include the presentation down below so you can kind of you view that as a refresher. So let's talk about the assignment. Uh, and so I have it listed here. And you'll see that what you're being asked to do is to write a paper using the play Antigone. You got to decide whether Antigone or Creon is a greater Sophoclean hero. And really, you could choose either one. Both of them fit the traits of the Sophoclean hero. You will need to complete using the play one skeleton today, one tomorrow, and one on Wednesday. Well, let's talk about what a skeleton is because we really didn't go into that. And so I've provided skeletons here, and it says Raising the Sun Skeleton. I'm going to change this right now to Antigone Skeletons. Um, and what the skeletons are meant to do are to make sure what we're doing is trying to find the support for our paper. And so these graphic organizers are helping you organize that support. You're going to do three of them because I want three supporting paragraphs to support your argument that either Antigone is a tragic hero or either... I was going to say Sophocles, but either Creon is a tragic hero. And so some of this stuff's going to look very familiar from other years. You're going to come up with a topic sentence. And, um, and, and then you're going to, and I'll give you an example when I hop back to the main page. And then you'll need context, like what's happening prior to the quote to help us understand. You're going to give us evidence. That's going to be a quote from the play a couple lines long that you feel illustrates the trait of the tragic hero, and then you're going to explain specifically what in that quote is giving you that idea that you're illustrating the tragic hero. I also have a PDF copy of this, although it's going to say Raised in the Sun. You can ignore the Raised in the Sun. It's the same skeleton I use for both assignments. That's why it's there. And so um, what we have here is here. So you'll see that I have topic sentence will address one of the aspects of the Sophoclean hero. For example, Antigone exhibits exhibits the Sophoclean hero trait of pride, all right? And then you're going to give me some context. What I would actually do is, I would say, I would say, if you think Antigone exhibits pride, find an example first, right? And then, so you'll go down, the evidence is a quote from the play that illustrates this aspect of the topic sentence. So find a quote that illustrates pride. And then you want to be thinking, what does the reader of my essay need to know in order to understand what's happening prior to that quote? And you're going to give me a two to three sentence paraphrase of what's happening in the play prior to that quote. And really, maybe I should put that down, that it's two to three sentences, just because if you give me one sentence, you aren't telling me enough. So we'll make sure that gets in there. And then after you've done that and you properly cite that according to MLA, and there's an example on the uh, handout that kind of frames out the paper. Um, you need an explanation that explains the evident what in the quote or how the quote exactly shows or illustrates the aspect of the Sophoclean hero. If you do that, if you put that into your skeleton, you do that on today, Monday, or on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday on the three skeletons, you will have the body of your paper already written. And all you need to do is transfer it over. And I know this is getting a bit long, but just bear with me. This is kind of important. And so I've included a, a copy of the Sophoclean hero, the stuff that we've talked about, uh, the traits that we talk about that are all bolded here as a part of this, of today's lesson in case you need it. The other thing I've included is the overview of the final paper. So we're talking about reason one, that's going to be skeleton one. Reason two, skeleton two, and reason three is going to be um, skeleton three. And so pretty straightforward here. So we're working in just this the first three days. On the final day, on Thursday, you're going to do the introduction and you're going to do a conclusion. And But you'll do that when you're writing the final paper on Thursday. So I think that's it. I, I spent a lot of time explaining that, but 
If you have any questions, let me know. What you're going to do is take this paper right here, and this is where you're going to submit for your assignment on day one, your assignment day two, and assignment day three. And you want to submit them because then Miss Myers and myself, we're going to look at that on Wednesday and give you feedback. Hey, you're doing this right, or no, you're not doing this right. And hopefully even Tuesday, I'll be able to give you some feedback on that as well. But that's really the uh, crux of it. Uh, anything I'm missing, Ms. Myers? Oh. All right, good. All right, so uh, again, if you do have any questions, let me know. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, talk to you a little bit later.